already opened it. So I'm not sure. Sick. We'll see. Wow. Look, the other ones they didn't. I think they knew which one I was gonna unbox. They they did not break the seal on these. It is like almost graphite. Yeah. How do you feel, Ellis? Yesterday, when I was like, oh, Apple's bringing purple back. And they're bringing it back, baby. Or at least something similar. They I was misled. I was fooled and yeah. I was duped. Ooh, that's I, like a lilac, right? I, what? <laughs> no way. Wait, that's supposed to be the purple? It's more paper than plastic. There it is. Okay, Space Black's the one I'm definitely getting. And yep, that was the right choice. That was the right choice. The camera's definitely thicker. Yeah, 100%. You're completely right. Yeah, the, I think the logo, logo is bigger. Is slightly larger. Slightly bigger Apple logo? I don't logo? like that. Tennessee. Yeah, me neither. I don't Tim's know about that. You want to do the Onyx? Like sure. The Swap with me. Yeah. Solid. Not bad. That was a nice peel. I like that. Ooh, Ooh I like that blue. Ooh. Wait, that? It's like a sky blue. Oh, I really like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Black is definitely, definitely the one I was leaning towards. That's sick. Well done. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh no. God. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Why I would you do that? <laughs> What'd you do? You ripped it off? Space Black is definitely the color I was leaning towards anyway, so I'm glad to see that I actually like it a lot. Are you going to buy one for sure? I don't know yet. If I do, it'll be closer to Christmas when there's like carrier deals and stuff, because I don't really have the expendable income to just randomly buy one right now. Hot take. This is the best color this year. Yeah? The worst is like that's the best color. So you're buying but this one, right? Yeah. The regular 14 blue. Correct. <laughs> so you're, you're buying a regular 14, right? It's Definitely. not a pro? Yeah, totally. Yep. So if you if you hold it, then you get, oh, you get navigation this interface. Cool. Yeah. So if you tap, it takes you to the app, holds, does a thing. It's basically the LG V10, right? That's sick. Ahead of its time, mm -hmm. the LG V10. Was it the V10? Yeah, yeah, I think it was the V10. With the like side the secondary display. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so this is now uh, a few days later, Apple Watch Ultra's box, and we're gonna unbox it specifically because this is a different looking box slightly than the normal Apple Watch. There's only one spec. It's the titanium, and it's 49 millimeters. And then I have a, a large loop, and it's got an orange Alpine loop. So I'm gonna unbox it on camera. That's kind of a, like, nice. Pretty hardcore. I mean, it's $800. You would expect like a nice unboxing experience. This is pretty solid. What is like a comparable non-smartwatch that I should compare this to? Like size. Non smartwatch? Yeah. Garmin. Because if you're going with like the Descent Mark II or something, that's like a much better diving specific watch. But this does everything. <laughs> this is the first Apple Watch I've put on that actually, it is light, but it's, it actually feels like too big. Like right now. This is like. <laughs> This is like, no. a, like a Kim Possible yeah, watch. Yeah. This is my Ben 10 watch. <laughs> oh my gosh. I should have brought my band. This is 30, this is 39. This is the Alpine bands. I like this band, but I'm like actually upset right now that Apple did not send us the trail band because it is just like the best watch band I've ever felt. It's like graphite. A little bit of like contrast and then an orange pull tab. Yeah. But this is just like. So orange is one of the colors that the deeper you go in the ocean, it's one of the last ones to like disappear. So you can still see it when you're going down. So you can get all the information you need at a quick glance. And putting orange on this watch isn't really useful, but it's just like a nice homage to like the first early dive watches that were tested and ended up using the color orange. We actually, we talked to a pro diver and he brought up that the limit of that watch is the limit you're allowed to dive before you need like special certifications. Well, like, like, well the 40 meter. So, so it's rated for 40 meters, yeah. but it can go to 100 meters. Yeah, he was like, the rate, the official rating they got is the absolute max for what 
casual divers can do before you need special certifications. Mixed gas. What Mixed mean, gas. Yeah. What does it mean it's rated for 40 but can go to 100? So like there's an official certification yeah. for a certain type of diving that needs to be rated for up, like officially, it's like an IP rating, right? It's like IP rated to 40, but Apple has tested it and they know it can go up to 100. It's not like so big that I'm like, oh my God, it's insanely big, but it I, eats feel, up your entire it feel, I feel like one of those guys in New York who's just like casually flexing on everyone. So this is how I'm gonna be running around for the next couple of days. Wait, you're using two This, is, this is your hella good uh, yeah. cosplay. Yeah. This is me. <laughs> that is pretty dramatically different. <laughs> We have practice this weekend. This thing's gonna be muddy. It's gonna be dusty, scratched. Actually, I would love for you to wear the yellow band during practice and see how no, much it like not how nasty it gets. No. There's no way. All right. Well, uh, I'm gonna start testing this. Uh, I'm gonna start with my normal other watch bands, like a little more subtle, so I can like actually walk around in the streets and hopefully nobody bothers me. Um, but yeah, stay tuned. Stay tuned for uh, maybe by this time this goes up. The full review is up too. See you later. I'm spending $700, $800 for an Apple Watch when I use an Android phone. I'll just wait till Marquez gets sick of it and then so, do a test with it. Yeah.